Good morning, boys and girls. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me, and let's talk about one of God's creations. And it's called a beaver. Beavers live in the wild, and they're in part of the rodent family. And that is, you all know what the rodent family is, but you might not have heard that name. If they're squirrels, geese, and rats, and guinea pigs, and hamsters, it's a big family. And um, beavers live to be 10 to 20 years. Old. And a beaver can weigh all the way up to 60 pounds. I brought a picture of a beaver today, and you'll probably see one on your screen. Beavers are characterized by having these two big front teeth, which are called incisors, and they're orange. They're not white like ours because they're full of iron so that they are good and tough when they. Uh, cut through twigs and branches. Beavers have webbed feet, so they're they're called semi-aquatic, which means they're sometimes in the water and they're sometimes on land. Beavers have very thick fur, and a uh, long time ago, people trapped beavers and sold their fur for hat making hats. Beavers have a big tail, and it's some it's usually around 18 inches long, and that beaver can use that as a rudder in the water, which helps them steer as they're swimming. And it also can be a prop for them when they're doing their cutting of twigs and branches. Beavers make lodges, and that's where they live. They're on the pond, and um, there's a shelf inside of this big dome, and this dome is 10 to, it can be as much as 20 feet tall, but usually around 10 feet tall, and it can be 20 feet wide, that's pretty big, and it can be as much as 40 feet wide, that's how big it can be. Beavers um, are active, they are busy, they're always pulling weeds and twigs, and they make ponds and dams. And in these um, ponds and dams, it provides for a lot of other animals, mammals, different mammals, deer. Um, they come down to the water's edge, and they, instead of just a small stream, they have a pond. And, and again, their lodge, or where they live, is on that pond. Um, beavers are what are called monogamous. That means they just have one mate their whole life, and they usually have two babies per year. Now, when beavers do something so interesting, if there is a predator or somebody that might hurt one of their family, they back up to the edge of the pond and slap their tail on the water and it makes that <laughs> clapping noise and it alerts all the other beavers that they are there's problems and that they need to get in the water and get back to the lodge quickly and that's all built into them by god it's so interesting um beavers are called master builders or engineers they make these ponds that are just enormously valuable with all the different animals that it supports. They have frogs and um, they have uh, ducks and, and all kinds of different animals that feed in this pond and different foods that are grow on the edges of the ponds. Beavers are kind of vegetarian. They only like twigs and branches and leaves, and they bring those up inside of the lodge for them to eat during the winter and when those ponds freeze over. Um, it's so interesting how beavers are um, so, they're so active that we've heard the saying that 
They're busy as a beaver. Uh, and that's so typical of beavers. Now, who taught them to build dams and canals and lodges? Right. God put, built that in the inside of a beaver so that he would do that. And beavers are very protective of their young. And if a beaver mom um, is sees that there's danger, she slaps her, her um, tail on the water's edge. And it's they're kind of like moms and dads. They are here, moms and dads are here to love and protect us. And they can maybe when they say, buckle up your seatbelt, that means they're doing that to protect you. And they say, cross in the crosswalk, so that they can protect you. And they might say something like, wash your hands before you eat for your protection so you stay healthy. God made beavers to be a wonderful part of nature. And I just hope that today you have enjoyed this message about beavers and know a little bit more about how they live and how what a wonderful contribution they are to um, nature. So thanks for being here today. And uh, I'll see you next week.